Hello friends, welcome to Java Swing tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at J button with uh, roll over our icons. In the previous video, we looked at the static icon, but here the icons will change based on the mouse action. So we are going to look at default icon. That means the icon that get displayed uh, for the button then roll over icon that means when the mouse cursor enters the button the icon changes to roll over icon and then we are going to look at mouse pressed icon that means when you click the left mouse button the icon will change to the pressed icon So it's a optional playlist, but it will give good exposure to uh, AWT and it feeds some information for a swing component. So learning the swing will be easy once you learn AWT. So it's optional. If you want, you can learn. You have to watch the uh, very first video in this uh, swing series. So here we create a frame window and on top of this frame window we will create our components so this video assumes that the frame window was already created and from swing tutorial 01 we will uh, create j button with the uh, rollover icons so first we create image icon instance here in this example we need three image icon one is for uh, normal and another one is for a rollover image and one is for pressed image so we create uh, three instance then we will create our uh, j button then we will set all these icons to j button so to set normal icon you have to call set icon so then you can set the normal icon which we already created which is the instance of type icon then we will make a call to set rollover icon and we will give the rollover icon here then we will call set pressed icon so these are all the two method which we need to call after creating the j button set icon set rollover icon set pressed icon then we will give the relevant icons to this method so for the rollover to work we need to make a call to an important function so this is the method you have to call set rollover enabled we will pass boolean true so once the rollover is enabled then the swing framework swing framework will take care of enabling the uh, this icon animation whenever the mouse action takes place on this button all right now we will go to eclipse demo so here is our frame window which we created in the very first video so in each example we will change this uh, set bounds to resize the frame so if you see this is the size of the frame so here we already created a image using paintbrush and if you see this is the normal image that means uh, um, all the button will display this image when it is in normal state 
when mouse is rolled over those button then the image change from normal to this roll over and when you click the button uh, that means when the left mouse cursor is in pressed state the icon changes to the pressed and once you release it uh, come back to the roll over when the cursor is still on the button and when you exit it will move to normal all right now we will create image icon for all these three images so the path is a c temp so you can see here that um, we are creating three image icon from java x dot swing package next we create j button from java x dot swing here you can see that we created three buttons then this property is important to enable this um, icon animation based on the mouse movement you have to set the rollover property so make a call to set rollover enabled and pass the boolean true so now button one button two and button three all supports rollover next we added these buttons to our frame window finally we will assign the images to the button so for example here we are making call to set icon we are supplying icon normal here then we make call to set rollover icon and we are setting the rollover icon then we are setting icon pressed so button one setup is ready we have to do the same for other two buttons so now all buttons are set with the uh, icons so normal icon rollover icon and depressed icon there are other type of icon also you can uh, explore it yourself now let us see how it works all three buttons are displaying a normal icon now i will move my mouse cursor so the cursor crosses all three buttons and you can see how it changes all right now i will go to the middle button and now i am going to hold down my left mouse button and once i release it goes back to the rollover icon and when i move to some other uh, button that will the previous button this button will change to normal icon so you can see the difference right that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye